It's a very sad day. He was a good man. Now the Faber community is coming together in grief after the brutal murder of a beloved musician. Larry Robinson was bound, beaten, and left for dead during an apparent robbery at a Temecula music store. Good evening. I'm Maitika Milanis. And I'm Preston Phillips. Just three hours from now, people will gather at Pete's music store to remember Robinson. And Tinder's reporter John Carroll is there live with the one thing everyone who knew Robinson well remembers about him. John? Preston, as you can see, the flowers are already up outside Pete's Music here in Temecula. This is where Larry Robinson worked. But Robinson had lived in Fallbrook for years, and as I learned today, there is no shortage of people there that knew and loved him. I was dancing with my darling to the Tennessee wall. It is that sight and sound, 64-year-old Larry Robinson in his element, doing what he loved, that people around here are remembering. They're trying their best not to think about the horrific way he died. Well, I get home and they told me that he'd been beaten to death at the music store. <laughs> Sorry. Lee Foreman lives across the street from Larry Robinson and his wife. He moved here more than 20 years ago and discovered to his surprise that living across the street was someone who was born in his same hometown of Long Beach. Ending up here on the street with somebody that you came from the same town with was kind of interesting. But uh, it's a very sad day. He was a good man. We stopped into a number of businesses around Fallbrook, and to a person, that's what we heard about Larry Robinson, a kind, talented soul who was full of music and love. So he was actually the first person I ever saw play live music, and he brought a lot of very famous people in through the years, through the packing house, famous musicians, and he was a staple in the community. Jessica Cinnamon worked with Robinson's wife at the packing house where Robinson used to play. Now her thoughts are turning toward Robinson's family. And I'm just devastated for his family. I can't imagine something that violent in Old Town Temecula, and it just, it's, it's, it's a loss. It's a big loss. Now, the Riverside County Sheriff's Department is handling this investigation. So far, they have not released any description of a suspect or suspects to us. But if you know anything, they'd sure like to hear from you. Live in Temecula, John Carroll, 10 News.